Okay, my name is William. I'm the CEO of a famous William Company. And today we're going to review the Linko lighting system. They sent me three lights, as you can see. Um, they're all in these, these are hexagon shape boxes. They have this material that goes over the front to make them softer, or you can take it off. The light bulbs are surprisingly bright. Just for a comparison, we have a standard light bulb that is in my house compared to the Linko lights. These lights would be best suited for video, but let me screw this back in. I want to make sure it's in there real good. There we go. But they, they work for photography too. They're a lot brighter than you would think they would be. Um, they're actually, it's, it's a little difficult. This one's on half power, so it's kind of a difficult to see on their own. So they'd be better suited for video, but they also sent me background support stands. And we'll go and talk about those. Comes with these two poles here and two of these stands like this. Um, this is one of their larger light stands. The feet lock into place. It's very convenient if they're not a flowing around. So it's very easy to open. With any kind of new product, you're going to want to tighten it really well because um, if you don't, it'll it'll come loose and you know, you, then you then you got your lights falling on your clients and uh, after a while, these screws and stuff like this, they start to wear good and then it's easier. Anyway, this background pole here, very convenient. This whole kit, the whole background support stand, fits in one bag. This bag, drop this bag. The bag I just dropped. Let me grab that. So you can see how small it is. Well, it's not that bag. It's this bag, right here. So this fits in the trunk of your car. Um, your older background support stands didn't come in two pieces like this. This one here just snaps together. There's your crossbar. Then these here slide right out. Well, pretend that didn't happen. Then we slide this in. We want to make sure this locks here. There's a sticker on it to keep you from doing what I just did. It's right there. It says to make sure it locks. See, now it won't come apart. That was my fault. But you can see this here uh, pole is much longer than will even fit in my studio. I call the studio of the cave because, you know, it's tiny. But, um, yeah, that'll, that'll do 12 foot backgrounds. And most backgrounds are only 9 foot. This one I have here is only 9 foot, so. You know, we got an extra 3 feet, we don't even need. I'll be using the background supports because I have a different support system, which is just two screws in the wall. I just screw the muzzle in with some screws. Anyway, so this is one of the larger stands. They also sent me. Two smaller stands that are this size. You can see the difference in size. And they have other sizes too. They have bigger sizes, smaller sizes. Um, this is the one I probably use the most. It's lightweight. Um, this one here is heavier, but you want something heavy for backgrounds. Let me set that down. Here's the stands I used to use. Um, these were the same price as these. Un it's unbelievable if you think about it, because these are very cheap. They're lightweight, but they're uh, they're not made very well at all. This thing keeps falling off here. The big part, if you can zoom up here, and look at this. There's a this here is very wobbly. Um, that's no good. It's actually got a screw in it. I hate that. I've always hated that about this stand. This stand here, this doesn't wobble at all. It's very nice because when you put a light on it, the lights on this stand, your whole light's wobbling. One here doesn't wobble, so that's that's very nice. And I'm sure you've seen the the test where they there's videos online where they show how sturdy this is by denting these with this, like this hits this and dents it. And that's amazing. The feet on here are nice too. If you look at the feet on the other ones, if you can zoom in on that, there's a it's just this awful metal here. And I'm a wedding photographer, so when I'm shooting, this metal here will scratch the floors beautiful hardwood floors, not, not good. 
these feet here. Very nice. So that pretty much sums up the light stands and the background support. They also sent me this bag to keep the lights in. That's these lights over here. They sent me other bags for the other light stands. They sent me bags for these salt boxes, which are very easy to put together. And they sent me this green muslin, which we won't be using today. I haven't even taken it out of the package, but it looks nice. I think it's I think it's like 12 foot by 15 foot or 9 foot by 15 foot. Anyway, also the boom stand. This is a nice boom stand. It's uh, it's about what you would expect from a boom stand. Um, comes with a bag, traditional style bag. I put five pounds of rocks in it. Hooked it with a carabiner clip. These these things here you want to tighten down really tight. You see how I can push on that and it comes down a little bit? That's because it's new. It's not got anything to do with the product being, you know, where it can't hold up well. It's just that they're new. Um, they're very slick. You just want to tighten down really good on everything. It won't break. At least I've never broken any Lincoln products there. They seem to be built very well. Okay, on, on to the soft box. If you look back here on the back of the soft box, um, you see it's a it's just this here. Let's see how fast I can take it off and put it back in. And I've actually, I've never taken this off before. I just put these together. Just got them in the mail. So we're going to see how fast I can remove this. So it's pretty much off. You see, I can't take it all the way off because the light bulbs are in. But it slides off. When you want to put it back on, you just slide it back on. Tighten this back in. Here, get a close-up view right here. You can see how that works. These heads are two stop reducing heads. You can see the bolts here. That means that when you're working with your ratios, you can stop down one stop, which means you get half as much light. Or you can turn the light completely off. So you see we have half the light turn, now the other half. So we would call that a one stop reducing head. Um, you could also remove light bulbs. So if we, if we took one out, you know, we, we would have a six stop reducing head, if you consider it that way. But you would have to remove light bulbs. I see some of the other ones have like five or six switches on the back. Um, that's convenient. But the truth is, if you're only going to use one of these light bulbs, it's not going to be bright enough to do much. So those other companies that have, you know, a, a dedicated switch for each light bulb, it's not really that useful unless you want a very dim lit photo, which in photography we're going to shoot at you know, water apertures, faster shutter speeds. So for photography, we're going to want something brighter. And these are just bright enough for photography. And I'm a, I would say that the competitors' lights probably won't be bright enough for photography. You would, your photos aren't going to look very professional. Um, with these, they would probably look more professional because they are brighter than, you know, the competition in the same price range. Um, let's see. The handles, the handles on the back here, um, they're very nice. Be careful that these handles, the rubber grips are nice, but um, they do they do slide around. I found that maybe there's there's some lubricant if uh, you can wipe it off, wipe that off, um, put the handle back on. It won't slide as much, but the handle's very nice. It's it's the nicest handle I've seen on any of these fluorescent lights. Um, so. That, that, that about wraps it up. You know, an, another thing that I really like about these lights is the color. They have a very nice color. The color is very white. Um, a lot of times when you're working with, they call them, they call them hot lights. The older style lights are about this big or about this big. And they're, they're metal. Sometimes they look like can canisters. I'm sure you've seen them there used for video. And they get very hot, but they have like a yellowish color to them. And the color of these are very white. So... You know, you put your camera on auto white balance and just go with it. It looks really good.